I'm Jeremy Wade, explorer, freshwater detective, and angler. I'm exploring a secret stretch of Guyana's jungle waterways. All along these remote rivers, I've heard stories of a fish so huge it can swallow a man whole. There was a human body inside. Locals call it the Lao Lao. I've spent 20 years trying to hunt down a single colossal specimen. So far, this giant has eluded me. But this time, I'm not coming back until I catch one. I'm itching to get a line in the water, so I head off with a fisherman named Neville to find some bait. He leads me through the forest to a particular tree, but it's what falls to the ground from it that we're looking for. We use the seeds for catching a bit. We cut it, and then you find a worm inside. A worm? The insect. Just lay inside and then form up a worm. So it's feeding on the They're nut. feeding on the nuts, all the time feeding on the nuts. So do you want to open this one? Ah, as a whole. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's big. It's just a sack of amino acids and goodness. From a fish's point of view, they're going to love that. It's perfect bait to entice smaller fish. Ah, and the fish are coming already. Yeah, that is quite incredible. These fish just came from nowhere. Ah, oh, first time. Yeah. Yes, oh. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Look at that. We're on the way. This is um, moving up the food chain. So from palm grub to miniature fish, to slightly bigger fish, to top predator. It's just the essentials. It's just a hook, a little bit of wire, just to protect against piranha teeth, a bit of weight, and the line. And I'm going to whirl that around my head, lob it out. the one and then you're feeling with your fingers on the line which is what I like to do with the rod actually you get a lot of information if there is anything moving down there oh there's something or something there's something or something fish something bigger than I bargained for has taken my bait I'm gonna go in the water if it's tipped over like that while handlining for bait with my guide Neville oh. fish I've hooked into something much bigger than I expected. Take it down, take it down, take it down. All right. Yeah. That is just a beautiful, beautiful fish. More to the point, it's very encouraging. Incredible to think that uh, a couple of hours ago, a palm nut on the floor in the forest has turned into this. Known locally as a basher, it has a huge mouth for its size but they don't reach anywhere near the size of a man-eater. I don't want to speak too soon, but if things keep on this trajectory, then maybe I will get that monster that I came here for. Every day, I've been up at dawn and fishing after dusk. Now, to maximize my chances, I'm going to keep a line in the water through the night. If I fall asleep, I might miss a take, so I'll need some high-tech gear to keep me on guard. I'm pretty well attuned to these things. Basically what happens, the line is passing over a roller there. And if the line moves at all, it actually sends to this uh, receiver here. And this buzzes, it also vibrates. So it's not just a waiting game, it's time, 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 time. sure what time of the morning it is now but it's been very very quiet tonight nothing really doing though until this apparently they call this a blinker locally pretty as this fish is I'm after something that could actually swallow this thing easily and possibly even swallow a person 
thing I'm after is more predatory, more monstrous than this by a long way. Looking more like a shark than a typical catfish, the Lao Lao can grow to monstrous sizes. This is a fish I've been on the trail of for 20 years now, since I first came to South America, trying to work out where the big ones are still to be found. In most places, the trail has gone cold. And my relentless fishing campaign is wearing me down. Fishing daytime, nighttime, evening, morning. Daytime, daytime nighttime, nighttime, evening, evening, morning. Fishing, fishing, fishing. fishing. I'm starting to lose track of time. What day is Time, 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 time. I'm in this sort of in-between state. It's, it's not exactly awake, it's not exactly asleep. It's somewhere halfway between the two. Not that small, serious. I have no doubt about what's on my line. This gear is designed for the heaviest ocean giants. But is it strong enough? I can't let that line break. Gonna get away, please. We need to be careful with it. We want the rope, please. There it is. It's an unbelievably muscular animal built for speed and power. There we go. Yeah? That's nice. What am I trying to and do? And there's its okay. signature weapon that enormous mouth. Ow! It's got a, a bit of a bite. Right, in inches. And girth in front of the dorsal fin is 50. I'm having to use scales designed for lifting concrete blocks. And it's on pounds, OK. Lift, lift, lift. Oh. 258, 256, 257, 254.6. I think, guys, you can put it down. So that's a 250-pound fish. <sighs> My whole life, I've longed for this moment. This is wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful. This, I'm going to remember. Um, the size of this fish and just the drama of getting it in. What a beast this is. But here it is. This moment is actually very short for us. I think it's got to go back in and we'll let it swim back down into the depths. Whew. I really actually wanted to sit and just look at it and look at it and look at it, but you can't. I think there's every chance that fish will never be seen by anybody again. There's bigger ones down there. Believe it or not, there are bigger ones down there. But maybe that's big enough for me for now. If ever something was worth waiting for, it's this, the river monster of a lifetime. <laughs>